<laughs> well, thanks, Kelly. When it comes to emergencies and evacuations, it's really important for us as families to have these plans for when emergencies arise. But what do we need to do when it comes to our four-legged friends in the event of an emergency? Joining us from Petland is David to tell us about what we need to do to prepare. David, thank you for being here with well, us Well, thank today. you for having me. And I think the most important thing to first start off saying is, uh, if the situation is unsafe for us, then it's unsafe for our pets. Mm -hmm. um, and we can avoid a lot of situations by just being a little bit prepared uh, for things that are happening. Like uh, currently now we have a storm moving in, mm -hmm. so it's a really good idea uh, for you to have a, you know, a little bag set aside for your pet. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe mm -hmm. some food, uh, something comforting to it, maybe a toy. Um, you know, there's also... Um, you can have some a blanket or a mm -hmm. towel or mm -hmm. things like mm -hmm. that. So just something to be prepared. Uh, I know that I looked myself on the uh, American Red Cross site right. and there's some right. really good information mm -hmm. there as well as what being prepared for your pet in case of a natural disaster. Um, and also too, if I might add, it's really good and good advice for people to look where would they go? Be prepared. Right. Make a plan. Precisely. Yeah. Uh, maybe a hotel, mm -hmm. uh, somewhere where it would accept pets, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. And that'll really help you from being displaced from your animal. Right. And, and if you, we do need to leave and get out, what type of supplies do we need to have on hand and ready for our pets when it's time to go? Uh, well, we suggest that you make sure you make a little, like a little grab bag mm -hmm. that you can grab. Keep mm -hmm. it somewhere near the front door mm -hmm. um, or anywhere you're going to evacuate your home. Um, in the event, keep it with your stuff. So mm -hmm. again, we talk about like a towel, uh, bedding for the dog, um, food, extra mm -hmm. food, something mm -hmm. comforting like a stuffed bear or something that could really help the animal adjust to maybe a kind of a scary time right, or just situation. Just a little toy, something comforting to That's make right. them feel comfortable, make them feel good, make yep. them feel all right. Alrighty. And so we also, I know we talked about in the if we're in danger, it's not safe for our pets. But if we do have time to get those pets out, what do those evacuation plans need to look like? Well, I, it's good to have everybody participate in it. Mm -hmm. So the children, um, if there's children around, let them be aware so that they can help out. It's mm -hmm. always good. I know I have lots of little hands and helpers around my mm -hmm. house to really help. Um, you know, I brought my dog here last time and it was a big old Great Dane. So it takes a lot of people to help to with help that. And move. Yeah, so everybody is aware. Everybody understands where we're going, what we're mm -hmm. doing. Um, if we have to leave our home, uh, there's, you know, there's a hotel or a church member or mm -hmm. things where, you know, somewhere where we can go and keep our animals with us so we don't have to be separated. Gotcha. Keeping everybody in the know. Keeping and everybody in together. The loop. Awesome. That's right. And we didn't get to introduce these sweet puppies. I know Lulu was, Lulu was, yeah, having, Lulu was, a, having, a was fit. having a time. She was fine during commercial break. But yeah. Uh, so was, that that was Lulu that, that was left. Lulu. She's so sweet. So she exit, and then we have Dixie here. Little Dixie. Yeah, little, little Dixie. So these are two two uh, puppies that are um, currently in our store now mm -hmm. and waiting for their forever home. And where can people find you if they want to come visit these sweet puppies? Well, we invite everybody to come down to 9339 Kingston Pike. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in the Cedar Bluff area right in the Home Depot Shopping Center. And that's where they can find us or they can find us online at www.pentlandknoxville.com. Awesome. Well, David, thank you so much for thank joining you. us.